Hi everyone, this is Will, the beer champion, and I'm here today to do a classic beer and food pairing. Today we're going to be pairing Pike Place Kilt Lifter. Oh yeah, oh my camera's broken, so low resolution. <laughs> uh, the Kilt Lifter is a Scottish Ale. Listen to that baby purr. <laughs> Um, a Scottish Ale is um, a breed of maltier beers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, these beers are... Um, so, unlike a lot of uh, American varieties of beer, these beers are uh, flavored more around the malt they use than the, the hops they use. So, it, um, they spend a long time... Uh, resting the uh, grain during the brewing process so that uh, you can get like a lot of caramel flavors, a lot of caramel colors. It's a little bit what's called estery. Mm. It's like drinking a glass of uh, bread with a little bit of jam on top. Um, coming in at about 6.5%, made by Pike Place Brewing here in Seattle. Warm. Uh, partially sunny uh, summer's day here in July. Um, you know, it comes in cans too, which is just, just lovely. Because it makes it so portable. Um, Pike was founded in 1989 by Charles Finkel, uh, who's still uh, one of the owners and operators, um, and on the board there. Uh, and I'm pairing it today with a classic beer and food pairing. Pretzels. This one's rolled gold. Mm, who has not gone to a bar room and had some beers and pretzels? That is a free lunch. If ever there could be one. I say there's no such thing as a free lunch, but bar room pretzels while you're having a beer? Yeah. That is the free lunch. Yeah, pretzels, uh, so World Gold came out in 1917, acquired by Frito-Lay in 61, which is owned by PepsiCo. Um, Julius Sturgis in Pennsylvania kind of came out with the, what we consider the modern day hard pretzel, 1861. And it sort of migrated west into saloons, which, uh, not to be confused with taverns in the Wild West, because uh, saloons were male-only establishments, and inventors of what was kind of called the free lunch. And there was like a whole free lunch scandal in the 1870s, 1920s, uh, because saloons would be like, yeah, I buy a, a couple nickel beers that breweries were sort of forcing into those, uh, into those saloons so that they could create uh, brewery dominance there. Uh, even in... Uh, <laughs> and uh, you you know, you grab yourself uh, uh, some pretzels and some cheap, cheap fixins with your pints. And still to this day, you go to do a, a lot of bars, restaurants, well, not restaurants, bars and taverns and pubs. Grab yourself a pint and some free uh, pretzels at the bar. Mm. But while that was happening, it, the pretzel was also migrating... The hard pretzel was also migrating uh, east uh, across the water. It had origins in Germany in the Middle Ages, mid medieval times. And it kind of migrated in the U.S. both ways, but then uh, it also migrated from Germany over to Scotland, which is why I like this uh, particular pairing. And in Scotland in the 17th century... It was also known as a marriage knot, or a German biscuit. But let's call it a marriage knot, because we're talking about Scottish beer and Scottish pretzels. Um, people would uh, intertwine uh, the dough and eat it together to symbolize uh, the union of, uh, of marriage. Just a fascinating history all around. Except that one. Look at that one. Oh, someone in QA going to lose their job. It looks more like the scream painting on a pretzel. Oh, look. We got a little pretzel mask. 
Uh, <laughs> mm. Still delicious, though. All right, so that's the pairing of the day. If you've got some beers that go better with pretzels, uh, let me know right down in the comments. If you've got uh, food that goes well with the kilt lifter, let me know. Till then, uh, cheers and like and subscribe and yada yada.